players from Envy who are checking out for those flanks, checking out for those lurks, specifically in FNS and Caboose. But now you see Xset funneling onto the site. Victor's going to be the first to drop. Mummy follows shortly thereafter. And, or excuse me, Exit do have control of the site, and, and both members, or all the remaining members of them, you're just continuing to drop like flies. I love the aggression that we're seeing from Exit, really sticking the matter to Envy, where FNS is left alone. Now, FNS had a chance. Now, the retake is on for Exit in a 5v4 situation here, Doug. And I like the due diligence that, that Exit are, are working through here, right? Make sure there's nobody holding a pinch on B main. Why they try to cut over, they've managed to get through there, and I like what we're seeing out of how they're approaching the retake as well, right? They've sent too long, there are two in garage, and then you have Aaron who's going to be coming into the defender spawn as well. All of this pressure is going to be so difficult for Envy to handle at the exact same time. You see them begin to funnel in, begin to push through, but of course as I say that, Envy seems to hold fast! Victor gets a couple, what a response from Acker spawn! But it looks like they're going to try to go see here, Lex. Yeah, that may have been a... Ooh. Alright, here we go. There from FNS from Garage onto Aaron, and suddenly that C site. Huge amounts of pressure, wow. but Pure holds fast. Yeah, Victor still able to get one with that run it back. But numbers advantage still in favor of Xset. The spike hasn't gone down yet. As they try to figure out, I mean, they, they do have some time if they want to pull off, but it's, it's not a lot. You're going to have to commit to something here very soon. Crashes with the tap, that's going to draw out the use of the gravity wall, and then they're going to pull off, and Lex, they... Oh my gosh! Crash just goes huge! And now they can book it out! We then, but, uh, hey, there was a few things that Xset did really well in that round, and it's oh, that's bold. pushed into a retake scenario now. Yeah, I mean, that lockdown smack dab in the middle of everything. You see them anchoring off. There's really nothing that Xset can do from this position to go ahead and negate that ultimate, so they just have to wait it out. Now they're going to bust the move. Cosmic Divide's going to go up, and remember Crash, he's with that Hunter's Fury that came online in the previous round. Could be a difference maker. Pure! Looking to be a difference maker himself with the blade from looking for a second, not gonna land. He's gonna get mowed down. Aaron falling closely behind as he looks to get a couple of kills of his own, and things go absolutely sideways. Friends coming out as well. The damage coming through can be so difficult, but Waifo's in a great spot. He got tagged up, but man, he's dealing damage right back, as is the rest of X and his pure wow. gets two of his own. FNS alone. You see that gravity well? FNS does find one, actually, before I get ahead of myself. Finds two, oh and now it's a 1v3. No way. BCJ, <laughs> he's got his Hunter's Fury. And you see imposture from that position. You oftentimes see that ultimate come out. Got a couple of tags. That's really all the damage that was done. Waifo spotting one down low. Another excellent recon dart to give some info away, but that's all there is. The lockdown has been used. Showstopper's going to follow up as well as Caboose doesn't get a chance to fire it off. That's absolutely enormous. Lex is now the lockdown does come through. Aaron got detained, but it could be bait as they work their way forward. Pure is there. Able to take care of Aaron for the time being, understanding that FNS is likely playing in short as well, and it looks like they might try to stick to the fuse. He did sitting on it, and there's no statistic way to prove this, statistical way to prove this. But I'm fully convinced that he Ooh. provides more value. What a shotgun. Out of those running backs than anybody else in the game, but BCJ is showing that he can do a bit of that on his own. Caboose in a great spot here. Not going to take the Blast Pack up, but the Cosmic Divide is going to come out in an excellent spot. There's not a whole lot they can do here. Great gravity well used by Mummy. The spike continues to tick away. They're going to have to push through here. Here they come. They all come in at the same time. They were able to get a couple of picks of their own. We did still alive. Nice shots! But Victor stands strong. He gets... It's interesting. They're choosing to challenge him again. They know that their operators are there, but they feel so confident in their ability to play around that they have no problem going back towards C. That's now three shots that he hasn't been able to connect on. Here comes Victor. Curveballing his way in. We did going to drop. Hunter Fury coming out from BCJ. I'm really the opposite side of the map to try wow. to wreak havoc. But it's his team who's able to land the kills that are needed. The operator finally... Comes online for two in the round as Pure knocks down a couple of members of Vix that remain on the site while they funnel their way in. Nobody's detained, and again, they take that as, a, as really a free entry onto the site. The BCJ has been able to hang out long enough to stick around. Of course, as I say that, he sticks around a bit too long, potentially, and he drops. We did and Pure still have a couple of ultimates of their own, while Crashies and Caboose can do the same. But for now, again, Exit just patiently waiting, Lex. Last round, you. Oh, there it is. Cosmic Divide coming out from We Did. Should make the retake a little bit more manageable. That's gonna take a whole lot more than that. As Pure gets mowed down, he tries to dash him with the Blade Storm. It doesn't matter. Exit's just down to Aaron. Envy just 
Yes. Has to go big here. Exit like to take B and push through, right? Like they'll smoke ceiling really hard and push their way into A. Like that's why I was saying FNS has to be able to anchor this just enough time for the rest of Envy to rotate over. Victor gets here. He gets a kill. We did has made the way to the back of the site, but the plan has gone sideways, right? They haven't been able to push their way through. They're kind of like stuck, right? Like there's sardines in a can here on B where they have pressure coming in from both sides. There are not a whole lot of options yet left for XM here. Yeah, and Caboose shined in this exact position just in the previous round. And again, he seems to be picking up right where he left off. Crafties is getting in on the action as well. As XZ wow. just gets him so heavily huddled around B. Yeah, they know they've yielded Garage to XZ. And Aaron just again the same feverish desire to peak that BCJ just showed us. And when your team's down and you finally got a rifle in your hands, just like, somebody duel me, man. Fortunately, the operator's the one who came to fight. Caboose finds another and beautiful. See the high hands from Victor to try to buy some time. But he's going to pull off. Thwifo on the lurk, trying to cause some havoc. He's going to drop. Let's see what Victor can do. Oh, he's right back. Oh, flash right in the face. Swings out, doesn't land the kill, but crashes does. As Victor gets back to safety, the Cosmic Divide's going to come out, prevent anybody from trying to pull in from the A-Link side of things. This is very difficult here if you're actually, you only have two members remaining, you've got to be able to stand strong, and the, the thing is, there's so much pressure coming in from so many different angles, and we are able to take the site back with relative ease, and Lex, they gave it up, right? Like, they were perfect... Certainly works. Now we've got Envy on map point and Exit still without an attack side round here on Haven, Doug. And uh, I mean, they're going to change things up. They're going to see if they can maybe work a C split into this round. But I think just about every single time. They Hold initially, but Victor is. And who else but Victor? Good for one. Looking for the second. Line him up. Knock him down. He gets two. Aaron's able to trade him out with the Spectre. Now they've got to go. They've got to be able to beat the remaining members of Envy onto the site. Aaron with the showstopper, and so beautifully played by Crashes. He's not even gonna check it, right? He's just gonna wait patiently, pure wisely. Peeks that, gets the kill. He did, should be able to get the spike down. Yeah, that very much could have been tragic. Instead, he's still alive here. Who's actually is gonna miss that showstopper by a country mile, and now it's a two on, sorry, one on two is pure alone here at short. Takes a duel against mm. FNS, and he's going to come up short. And that is actually going to be map point here for Envy. 13-6 against Dexon. Food's on the other side. Right, as soon as they funnel in, there he is. Victor already good for two with the frenzy. Mummy's good for one as well. Yeah, it, an excellent read. Call it what you will. Use this drone so they have a decent idea that the hit's coming towards B. They have market control. And again, the spike is in a brutal spot where Pure dashed in. He dropped it. Victor on the side, looking to get an opening in with the curveball. He's able to do just that. As members of Envy are starting to drop, oh. this is an excellent response. Looks like they have a couple of good lineups to clear out anything happening across market. The curveball's there as well. Caboose looking to stay alive. And he's not going to be able to. Two members of Envy remain. Can to make sure that they aren't able to get away with these guns. Oh, wow. FNS creeping through the cloud burst, good for two, and oh man, yeah, they dealt the damage, the spikes are going to go aggressively, so the run it back doesn't really grab very much value at all, we'll see what Victor can do with his, as Caboose gets one with the showstopper, crashies, Spidey sense is tingling, understanding that there was one in the smoke, he gets it, but he drops it, Mummy, Mummy's frenzy, and really, Envy across the- At any moment, this A splits our way, Doug. Yeah, and you can tell they're trying to force in, right? They've invested a couple of Woo! ultimates, and this might be why. Pure is already good for two with the Blade Swarm, not able to land another. The curveball from Victor proving to be too much. As Caboose was on the flank, he takes away Cat. There is no control in Tree. The thing is, Exet do have three members on the site, and they have decent weaponry, right? A couple of Spectres and Phantom in the hands of Weeded. Caboose is going to be the first on the swing. He's going to drop. Victor looking to find some of his own spots. One player looks for a second. Perhaps one that will pay off dividends if he's able to find anything here, Doug. Uh, Aaron's still playing pretty far back. But Victor wise to the fact that they've given up middle of the map control. Got one, got traded out. But the thing is, there are still two remaining members on the side of Envy. Well, there were. Until Twyfo took care of him. The, there's a lockdown coming up from Twyfo himself. Mummy's up. 
not good that time. The Classic isn't going to do it either. They somehow managed to establish enough control to be able to work their way towards A. He did. Still has that ult in his back pocket. Ten seconds left. The wall's going to go up. The spike's going to go down. And now it's going to be on Envy in a 2v3. Numbers disadvantage to take the site back. And again, they're going to be coming in from the same angle. Up in heaven. We did good for one. Finesse trades it out. Finesse not able to make any magic happen at three. Heroics as well to finish it out. Victor's going to pop his run it back. It's a lot of information no way, the players bro. over here they made. And that no set way. hot hands towards Cubby finds one onto Aaron, and we did. Blind as all heck towards Bike will fall. And now this is a five on three with Exit limping already in this round. And, and like, again, the damage has been done. Right in the previous round, it was the lockdown that really set things sideways this time. Five seconds left. Let's go hit something, contact it together, and trade it out. Crashies. Good for one, trades out. Only one remainder, one remaining member again. on the site. Yep, and Dwyfo once again goes huge. Caboose drops. Members of Envy are gonna have to rotate over as the spike goes down. And somehow, except find themselves in a spot where the beginning of the round goes absolutely sideways, and they might walk away with this dang thing. Yeah, it comes once again off the back of the heroics of Dwyfo. The round isn't over yet. Still in a 2v2 with his man BCJ. Dwyfo, clean aggressive. Oh, beautiful. Dwyfo swings and FNS responds even more beautifully. BCJ good for one. He's going to have to dance around the generator. Not able to take care of things. Oh, we did immediate deletion from generator and counter Hunter's Fury is accompanied oh by gosh. a three piece from FNS who holds tall, strong, and fast at the front of the A site. And now it's just Aaron and BCJ once again finding themselves in a very, very disadvantaged position in a round. And there's already a double one flank. Enemy remaining. Yikes. Back side of this map, and there's just nowhere to go. Aaron's backed into wine, executed there by Victor, who finds two on them. Have FNS who's working his way in through B. My gosh, BCJ never stood a chance, Lex. Yeah, just getting mauled on the B site. No help from any teammates, and all four players from X that are flying in through Defender Spawn, retaking Switch. And Crash is really the first to find one. This looks good for X. A, two, a 2v2 well, of course. Wow. That may have been my fault. <laughs> As I say that, Envy just... To the round, five on four now, and defensively, set posture decently to handle oh this boy. B split that's underway now. Down, you mentioned they were po postured decently. I'd say it was far more than that. <laughs> we're starting to see some life. We take Solo coming in through from Defender Spawn, basically. Cool. And as I say that... <laughs> Yikes. Envy shuts it down. Two huge kills coming out from Victor. Aaron able to trade one of them out, but now it's a two on three. On his own, but Aaron, yeah. a really uncomfortable duel there towards Tree. Mummy's going to yeah. clean that up with a running Phantom headshot. Crashies with another. And here we are, Map and... Live to fight another round. Live to play it again. Oh, man. They sniffed it out. Oh, no. This could be trouble for XS. Here is already dropped. Caboose with the showstopper. Good on to Weeded as well. Things have gone absolutely sideways with the Wifo. Once again, looking to answer the call, looking to be the hero for Xset. Gets a couple of kills, a couple of insanely important kills. To keep the round alive, looking for more. Yeah, baby, that's three. If FNS is just going to have to, like, go nuts. Land these. Out of A main, it seemed as though two different players may have just been, you know, out of step, out of position. Aaron resets behind the box, knowing he got seen. It's one, you know, one sheriff shot to the face. BCJ gets shot in the back of the head, and you're in a five-on-three retake scenario. Envy right. really looked like it was just a matter of timing there coming out of a main instead. Right. Exet, like you said, were, you know, positioned well enough to handle it. It's only towards a main right now. Lex, it's free. They just the got trap. another ult in the hands of Crashies. They push through, and they're waiting for him with open arms. Mummy and Caboose are able to get a couple of kills apiece. They're going to flip the map, push over towards B. The lockdown's on the opposite side, so that's not going to be a factor. Pure looking to once again... Will his team back into a better situation? And so far, so good. Gets one with the friends. He has the operator. He's going to try to anchor back. And if you buy time for Dwyfo, you may have a chance. There it is. But the Hunter's Fury looking to negate things. Dwyfo takes care of Victor. Pure trying to stay alive. Not 